Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be continuing my Let's Play videos of Battletech. I believe this is part, could be part 19, could be part 20. I, offhand I don't have my numbers next to me so I feel like a... Let me just have a quick look on here. Um, anyway guys, today we are actually going to try and do the served cold. Obviously meaning a vengeance. Sorry guys also for there not being many... Oh, actually, I think it's 19. Um, sorry for there not being any mini uh, miniature unboxings at this minute. I hopefully will have them done maybe just before this video. I didn't sleep well over the weekend and I was so tired I couldn't read very well. Um, so yeah, I'm still quite tired. So I'm a little worried that when I do the dish surf cold, things may not go go so well. So let's go here to my... Uh, my mech warriors. I just want to make sure I've spent my XP. Yeah, I have. Just want to make sure certain people. Do oh no, I haven't yet. So let's make sure she can take a little bit more heat. Or do I want to go? Cool. Bonus. No, I'm going to go to take a little bit more heat for the meantime. Mech complete. I think that's always kind of useful. Let's Is she go. had spent? No, she she hasn't. Decca Decca has. Um, I'm just trying to remember guys because I need to get these guys all ready. It's the same as uh, I'm trying to get Medusa and all them just in case someone dies. I've, got this I've been lucky so far in, in my eyes. Let's go to the mech bay for a sec. So... Yeah, we got ourselves in, like the dragon. I believe my... Where is he? Do you know what? I'm going to start maybe moving some of these things I don't use, like this, into the storage because I think that'll save us a little money a month. Um, at this second, yeah, I think certain things like this confirm to storage. Let's also move him into storage. So let's check the financial. Uh, Nothing popular on him for the minute. Yeah, let's just move him into storage as well for the meantime. Uh, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep those up there for the minute. I'm trying to work out what was that I gave to this again. Oh, actually, that might not be a bad one to take out this time. Um, because it's got better armor than the dragon, but the dragon's got more. I don't know. The Hunchback's got more armor though, and that's what I'm thinking at this second, guys. Because <sighs> I wasn't, I have, I'm not overly impressed with the dragon at this second. Maybe, I just don't know. Also, I, I think having slightly faster mechs might be a good idea. But. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm, do I'm trying to work stuff out in my head at this second. Alright, anyway, let's go back to over here then for the minute. Let's go to the contracts. I'm going to apologise now, guys. My reading may not be up to perfect standings. Let's deploy. And so, yep. Okay, guys, we've got a reading bit. Alright, so, in orbit of the first moon. As you heard, House Koranus has suffered greatly at the hands of the Dictator. Well, we can't change that, but we can show Lord Koranus that we're his allies and that our word can be trusted. We need to help and um, we need his help with the data archive. Yes, but that isn't why I agreed to, to this mission. If we prevail against the dictator, we must unite the founding houses under the re, uh, restor restoration banner. Without his support, we have no way of replacing our losses. I understand Lady Organa, we're getting into into specifics of this job he has given us. I seem to remember something about a dropship. She's called the New Garage. She's a transport vessel, obsolete civilians named for an old liner of shipyards. The New Gauger has been certificated and commercial for commercial flights in the dictatory, the one of the lots I'm friends with, I can't pronounce it, 
the Catalan Conf uh, Confeda um, Confederation and the Tauren lot and all others and all and all other ways she's completely unremarkable at least that's from what her official paperwork says I'm gathering Lord Callus disagrees with the paperwork uh, what's the real st okay I'm gonna do that one uh, what's the real story the new gadget is running weapons into the Argar's reach to supply the dictator's war effort her crew has been using an old commercial port on our Ag Anavolt to refuel between trips. Ships like this one helps, uh, could it help explain the dictator's unexpected strength, uh, strength of arms and in it's in our interest to destroy it. According to the intel we've been given, the new gauge is carrying more armor than any Union class dropship has any right to. Attacking her directly would be a waste of time. Thankfully, Lady Mandras has found us an alternative approach. Oh Lord, oh. that alternative, uh, Algol's fueling station was designed for civilian use. It isn't a hard, hardened target and isn't compelled, uh, and its compliances won't withstand a, uh, a stationed, uh, I think that's what I'm saying, stationed attack. If we go in whilst the new gauge is refueling and blow the station's primary fuel reserve, her armor won't count for much. The resulting explosion will smash her like an egg. Are you sure that uh, Lord Cullis is telling us the truth? It would be a disaster if we take out a civilian dropship. Okay, that's what I would actually say. For, for our own studies of the new gauge and the station on out of a vault I'm convinced that Lord Carnos is telling us the truth there's something deeply suspicious about this ship she what she isn't the commercial transport she's pretending to be uh, I need to, okay I need to know there isn't there isn't any innocent civilians okay vessel assignments isn't enough Lady Organa, I need to know there isn't any spin. Oh okay, I'll say that for a minute. I'm no more eager for unnecessary bluster than you, Light of Hand, and I hope you you know me well enough to recognise that. If we if we can raise the new gauge on the comms, I will offer her captain a chance to surrender. I would rather take prisoners than fill graves. The Reach has already seen too much death already. It sounds like a workable plan. Looking forward to it. Okay. Hang on a second, boss. If this job was as easy as blowing up a fuel tank, Kairos would have done it himself already. So, what's the catch? I mean, they're sending us after the, such an easy target. Lord Arganos sent the last remnants of his personal guard after the new gauge two weeks ago. A lance of hardened uh, mech warriors. We were... They were seamlessly destroyed. A complete loss. There was no survivors. Smugglers don't run that kind of security. Hell, compared, um, hell, corporation commercial ships don't. I sh I should know. I spent years guarding them. It's bizarre. I agree, but we oh, but we have only Lord Chorus's word to go on, and he, and he don't put, and he didn't personally witness what happened. We should approach the, dro uh, the drop with absolute caution. Be bring the strongest lance you can field and keep an eye open whilst you're on the moon surface. I would recommend bringing a heat effectancy lance if possible. Something's atmosphere climate will quickly overwhelm you, overwhelm your heat sinks if, you, if you're not careful. Yeah. No time like the present. I'll say, don't worry about me, Lady Arganis. I've got the situation under control. I uh, got it. My lance will be prepared accordingly. Now, I don't think my lance is, to be honest. I don't think we're actually got a good heat effectancy, especially with the heavy guys. That would, that would be wise. Good hunting, light of hand. I'll be with you on the comms. Okay, so. Right. So what am I going to do here? Right. Well, first off, we put Behemoth in where Hunter is, and we'll put Glitch into there. I'm thinking about putting the Hunchback back out there 
that puts us to there. But if we have the dragon... Uh, but the thing is, with the hunchback, it's just, it's got more armor. I think it's got more of a powerful punch as well. No, it doesn't actually have more of a powerful punch, but... But she, if she does get in hand-to-hand, -hand, she's got the piloting skill to make it work. And I think there is a little bit more heat effectancy on that one than there is on the dragon. Yeah, it has no heat sinks by the looks of it. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this. Because it's, it's just the armor on the dragon. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure about it still. It says good heat effectancy. That it's about the same, isn't it, actually, guys? The Orion's heat effectancy is really bad. So is that one. The Thunderbolt doesn't seem to have the firepower. I probably think it does. It's got a lot of stuff, though. Let's be honest there, guys. It's got a lot of lasers and all of that. And it's got a lot of heat sinks in it. Um, but again, it's, these guys have got the armor. I think I might need. Do I need him with his... He's been useful, but once they're gone, their um, missiles, he doesn't seem as useful. So maybe if I give him, give him the dragon. Glitch the slightly lighter mech. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't, because he needs to do sensor lock and all that. But that does mean he'll be in a heavier armoured mech. But I've just given this this really nice new. Do you know what? No, I'm going to take I'm going to take that for the meantime. Right, I'm going to try my luck with that with that lance, guys. I'm not I'm still not sure though. This is the problem. Okay, so engage the engage and destroy the new gauge. Destroy the ship security team. The new gauge must not escape. Okay. Alright. I'm again I'm a little worried about where this is sort of going. The mercenaries of the, the lighthouse trace their lineage back to the well. Okay, so let's begin the mission. Oh wow, so we've already we're already on the planet then. Okay, there's a lot of activity on the ground, Commander. It looks like the new gauge is being prepared for launch. You're not going to have you're gonna have a tight you're going to have a tight timetable to get in there and blow the station's fuels reserve before it lifts off. I'm seeing the target emplacements and light mac, uh, mech activity on the ground, but it appears that the security detail we are warned about is off planet for now. Simi will be mo monitoring our sensors for any signs of incoming dropships. She's got that right, Commander. If I see anything, you'll be the first to know. And I advise you, you be wary of this security landing pad up here on the ridge. If we, if we, if I were dropping a def uh, defense lance, that's where I would do it. Okay. Right, right. Let's have a quick here. look over. Oh, what's that? Gun turret. So, I've got a feeling they must have turrets here. That's what we've obviously got to take out. What's that over there? Turrets. Okay. And there seems to be something over there. Alright, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to get light hand to go this way for the minute. Oh, we've got an enemy contact. Right, so we're going to go this way for a sec. On the move. I'm going to get glitched to go this way, and I'm going to get... Out. No, 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 I don't want him being shot. So let's move him to about there for the minute. Moving out. Oh, wow, so what we got... He sense... He's picked up something. So we've got 11 rounds. Okay, so 25 ton mech. Oh, no, 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 of all the mechs, I don't want you targeting him. Alright. Okay, so I do actually want to move. I'm gonna move. Right, so that, I, I do want to get to there, so let's just move. 
Okay. On my way. I'm going to move her to there and hopefully be able to take this this out over here. She's got high percentages. Uh -huh. Right, so that's out. That's good. Target destroyed. That's actually really good. So something's burning there. But has something blown up over? Ooh! Do you know what? I'm going to put Decker onto reserve for the minute because I actually want to move certain other people to a different area and I might need him to... Ooh! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move Behemoth. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get Decker. I'm going to get Decker to move to about there for a second. Alright, so this time I'm then going to just get the sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. So he has less chance of dodging anything. Then get Behemoth to move to... I want to move to there, but it's not... Okay, move to there for the minute. But then I'm going to kick click on Vigilant because I want her to have a full... Arm, um, armor thing, and then I want her just to fire everything at the little guy that's over here. here Alright. And then we're going to get the right hand to sprint this way for a minute. Because we've got to take out them fuel bits, so... Okay, so he's picked up something. What's he picked up? Oh wow, so, oh, something's hit me. What was that? There's a one, so that has to be a turret of some sort. Oh, he's just run that way. That's not good. I wanted to take him out. <laughs> okay, so I think if that's the case, I'm going to sprint Behemoth down to here, so she's got some bits that she can do. Oh, so she's picked up something as well, what she's picked oh there's more enemies over here, this isn't good. Alright, I'm then going to get Decker to move to there. Remember, I've only got so many turns until I've got to hit that fuel station. And then I'm going to do a sensor lock on that gent on that over there. Got a lock. It's a panther. Okay. Right. Waiting on you, Commander. Can she shoot it? No, she can't. So I'm going to move to about there then and brace. Moving just in case the enemy comes up the other way. She's got that nice little cannon that can take take it out. I've got this horrible feeling. Okay, let's do that. I've got also got a horrible feeling I've blocked myself, so. Let's move. Yeah, I have. I can't get to where I want to get to. So can she? Can he attack? Yeah, he can, but he's not got, he's not got good percentages. Engaging target. So we've done a bit of damage. I'm a little, little annoyed at myself there because I feel like I could have done a bit better there. But I've got to move Behemoth. She's, she's in the way, so... Right. Um, Good to go. Glitch? No, no, no. Do you know what? I'm gonna just gonna go over here for a second. I'm gonna reserve my guys for a second. Get his guys to move in first. Because it's not only no, no, that I can move. Oh, something's happened. All right, that wasn't good. Right, so I do want to move Behemoth because she's in the Wait way. Move her to about there. Heading out. 
and then open up with everything she's got on him. Good. That's good. We did a really good shot there, guys. Quite happy about that. Um, then I'm going to get light hand. I don't want to stay on ground that's going to cause cause him a lot of trouble. So I'm going to move down that way. Light hand. So we've got nine turns. It's not that far away, guys. So I don't see how I'm going to shoot him in the centre. Heat might be a problem afterwards, but if I can take him out... Good! So we've taken out one of their security detail. That's one of those annoying little fast ones as well, so... That's good. I'm gonna get Glitch... Gonna get Glitch to move to about there. And then... She might be able to hold her own and then brace and I'm going to move him to about there so maybe he can fire some missiles over and help as well because in a minute she's going to be able to see so let's brace okay so the 25 ton mech is Deciding the turn round. What's he doing? That seems, just seems really odd. Uh, gonna get Glitch to move as fast as she can. Cause if I can move her, yeah, that's where I'm gonna move to. Because the other mechs then have to move at a certain other angle. All right. Ah, uh, I can't hit him unless I do position strike. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to precision strike the little guy. Right in the back. Hopefully. Hey, you. Did. I took him out. Not the best camera view they could have picked though, but... Did you see that? Did you see it? So I took him out. Oh, it's, oh, it's a griffin. Okay, so then I want to click on Decker. I'm just going to get Decker to attack. Now, which one... I'm going to go for the Shadow Hawk. Target acquired. He's not moved. Ah, oh, chain. Didn't do that much. Uh, didn't do as much as I was hoping, if I'm being honest. I've got a funny feeling there's more turrets. And that could be a problem for me in a minute. So then, if I move... No, I didn't want to attack, I wanted to move. Go light hand. Why can't... Okay, let's go behemoth. Okay, I want to go... Okay, so if I go like... Alright, let's do that for a second. Because I want to start trying to get the uh, mechanism, but if I can't, fair enough. I'm going to fire again at the Shadow Hawk. Don't know if I'll hit it or not, but... get light hand light hand what okay so then he's going to move to about there as well and he'll fire his missiles over at the shadow hawk but i did actually want to start shooting the uh thing because we've got eight turns obviously something else is going to happen in a minute but i just want to i just want to be careful that's all oh no Okay, nothing hit, which is good. Right, so I am going to move Glitch, though. I think I'm going to move Glitch. Because she, she has to move to be able to... No, I'm not going to do Glitch first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Decker. And I'm going to just attack with Decker from where he is. I'm going to get him to open up again on the one over there. Again, the terrible camera angle is just... Awful. Is that a turret on that? 
Or there's smoke coming off of it. Get them, I'm gonna then get Glitch then to move as fast as she can to there. You betcha. Again, these terrible camera angles that the the computer is picking at this minute is horrid. Okay, so then I'm just gonna open up because this is back still. So let's go for it. Let's do a precision strike so we may not waste the actual shot. We're gonna choose the center of the back and what? Oh, I thought it missed. Okay, so now I'm going to pick Behemoth, and I think I need to, yeah, I'll get a, I'm going to get Behemoth to move to about there. Roger. Then get Behemoth to fire at the fuel station. Firing. Good. Uh, this is the captain of the new gauge. Hold your fire, damn it. This is a civilian transport, not a military dropship. I know what you are. Power down your engines and surrender. Your ship or your ship will be destroyed. You can't do that, I repeat, hold your fire. We are an un we are unarmed people on this vessel. We've got a, f uh, a hold full of passengers and you'll murder them if you destroy that tank. I already know that your ship is, uh, what your ship is carrying. It isn't a civilian, tr uh, isn't civilians. Captain, I'm giving you one last chance to surrender. If you refuse, what happened next is on your head, not mine. Listen to reason and power down now. They're, they've cut the comms feed, Lady Organa. I'm picking up an increased activity on my sensors. They're making a run for it. Then they leave us no choice. We blow them res uh, fuel reserves. Let's do what we came here for, Commander. Take that dropship out. Okay, so let's move to about... I'm going to move to about there for the minute. Because I'm going to do maybe a split shot, I'm not sure, depending on what I can actually shoot over there. Because if, even if I can just start damaging... Actually, it might not be a bad idea if I start going for that soon as well. Um, no, I, I need to fire everything into that, so... Missed with the weapon I really needed to hit. Oh, oh, miss, 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 miss. Yes! Right, I'm going to choose Glitch I this time ya. to move as fast as she can to there. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be though, if I'm being honest. Uh, then I'm going to get her to just fire at this one here and hopefully take him out. Didn't do what I was hoping. Hopefully it can't get behind her. No, it can't, but it's going to punch her. No, it missed. Oh, Dang it, that hurt. damn it. Okay, so and then I'm going to get Decker. He's going to fire everything he's got into Roger him, that. so. Didn't take him out. Right, Behemoth. Actually, they were saying something about over there, weren't they, before? Yeah. So I need to be careful here. So if I move Behemoth more to sort of like that angle, because of that that's up there. And we fire into this again. Good. Okay, good, we've taken it out. I'm praying this isn't a civilian ship, otherwise I'm going to feel really bad. That's done it. The news gauge is down. They should have. Uh, that should satisfy our obligation to Lord Caronus. Head up, Commander. Er an enemy dropship came in hot. Oh wow, that looked quite big. Incoming transmission. Oh wow, these. Okay, this don't look good. You fool! Do you have any idea what you've just done? You'll pay for that with your life, mer mercenary filth. Victoria, if I know you. Were if you were here, I would have taken the field myself. 
A pity you didn't. We could have ended this war here and now. I suppose I don't have to content myself with with your prized mercenaries. Watch as I tear them to shreds. Okay, that didn't look actually that good because it looks like she's actually got a... Um, quite a nasty force. Okay, I'm not liking that. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm not... Oh no, I don't like that actually. Right, so I'm then going to move lighter hand to. I don't know. Do I move? Do I move him back? No, I'm going to move him to about there for the minute and hopefully be able to inflict a load of damage on an enemy before they get a chance to do it to us. Uh, what is that? It's a dragon. I'm going to do a precision strike on the dragon so we get a better chance. Now, where's the ammunition on the dragon? Okay, so it's that shoulder there. I'm hoping for a crit. Engaging target. Right, so someone else. Ooh. Okay, I can see this not going very well at all. Miss. Eek. Right, I might start moving back in a minute, actually. Yeah, I'm not liking what's going on here. Oh no! Little mechs! Alright, so I'm not too bold. Again, look at the camera angle, this is just awful. Right, um... Okay, I'm just going to use her for a minute. If I use her to punch him, that means she's going to lose heat as well. So let's just get that done. Wow, what did... Why didn't she just do it forward? So it's lost its right arm. Pilot's injured, but now she's probably exposed her back to the guns. That's not what I wanted. Okay, wait a minute. What? Yeek! Yeah, this is going to be a lot more dangerous than I thought. I might need to start coming back a bit. Right, so Decker. I'm going to get Decker to move to about there. I copy. And then I'm going to get Decker to fire a load of missiles. Now, do I do it into... I think I'm going to do it in the Centaurian first. Target confirmed. Right. Then I'm going to get... Oh. Okay, then I'm going to get Behemoth. Can she attack anyone while she's... Because she, she'll she have um, bulwark, won't she? She does. So if I do that for the minute on him... Oh, good structure exposed. We didn't knock him over! Oof! Okay, I'm going to still check to see what my... My guys, things like so. Let's attack. Again, we're going to go for the Centurion, and let's just hopefully we can knock him down. Well, he's been knocked down. That's great. So he's going to go slightly after the others. It's the little guy I'm worried about, though. Once he gets in close, he's going to cause a lot of damage. Okay, that's not good. The dragon's going to be a problem as well, I think, if I don't take that out soon. But, as I said, I've now got my guy doing the bulwark stuff. It might... Damn it, that's not what I want to hear. Not yet, anyway. I also don't want him getting close enough to do the flames. Alright. Glitch. Um, 
Can I get you to move to about there and turn around and shoot him? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So you've got a bit of like... Because I'm going to need her in the fight. That big gun's going to be really needed in a minute. But... Do I really need to sh shoot him in the back with that? Let's have a look what he's got there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just see what happens. No, it didn't destroy him. Damn it. Damn. Yep, that's not what I wanted. Right, so Decker. Good to go. I'm going to move you to about over here. Over here for the minute. On the move. And I still think maybe the one that's down for the second. What's in that torso? It's got the ammunition. Okay, let's go for there. Okay, so we did. But we're causing a, quite a bit of damage here. This is good. Can he really do much? Oh, well, he can, I suppose. Warning. Armor low. Okay, so then I'm going to get Behemoth again to attack. But this time I don't know if I am going to go for him or I'm going to go for this one here. I think, well, if I move to him, I can get a lot more, but the heat's not too good. So I think I'm going to go there, just to try and damage him a bit. I might okay. If my morale's up, no! Damn you! If my morale's high enough, and he gets that sort of split, no he doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to do a split shot here. Yeah, I'm going to fire them at, at, at that, and then the rest at you. And hopefully I take him out and cause enough damage to this one here. Good, we've blown something else off him. But we've not destroyed him. Damn! That means Victoria's now going to... I want that catapult though. Again, can I see please? I will tear your back in two. Okay, so I am got a bit of damage. As long as it's not my centre, I'm happy. Okay, so I need to run that one back up. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. It's that little mech as well. The heat that he might generate in a second scares me if he can get his flamethrowers in against um, any of my guys. Okay. All right. Glitch. Commander? Again, I'm going to try and move you to. Yeah, I'm going to move you to there. Okay, so this is getting worrying for me, guys. Let's then just. Actually, I'm going to pull it in this time. Sod it. I didn't want to, but wow. Good, we're taking it out. That's a kill. Okay, let's go to... No, it's not Decker yet. The Centaurian's still coming in. I need to find out what damage my guy's got on him, actually. Because if it's sent at all, so I'm in trouble. No, it's not as an arm. I'm not too bothered by that then. Um, let's do an attack. Now, do I do him? Because he will go soon. Or do I go for the little guy? I'm going to go for him. For the minute. With any luck, we'll start hitting that tall. Fall over. No, it doesn't. Damn. Oh, she's well overheated, which is good. Okay, so I'm then going to go Behemoth first to attack 
him. I'm going to fire everything I've got at him. That is annoying because that's the main weapon again I really wanted to... So that's just knocked him over. Alright, then I'm going to get... Okay, nothing's been blown off, off me yet, which is good. It's the heat thing though. But again, it could do me as well in a second. So, if I attack, it's only missiles I can fire into him. So let me click on him, turn off the missiles, turn off those two lasers. I feel like I'm wasting something though, because he's gone to the ground. I'm just going to do that for the minute. Good. Good, we're taking that out. Alright. So we've got a new round. No! Damn! Okay, so... It's that little guy there, though. He's going to be the big problem. Now, who's he going to go for? That's what I'm scared of. It's the heat. Please don't shut me down. No, he, but he's caused me some damage. So I need to run forward and punch him, I think. Armor right, so the first, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to get him to shoot there. I'm going to shoot the missiles onto that. So it's some of the weapons gone. Good. Good. So we've done a bit, quite a bit of damage there. Then let's get Glitch to sprint to about here. So she's going to start losing heat. Damn it, man. This is not good. Um, okay, so... Oh, she had to power up. So then I'm going to get Lighter Hand. He's going to run in and just... I'm going to choose Vigilant first, so he's still got Vigilant, and then I'm going to get him to go in and punch the little guy that's there. Okay, so he's a little bit unsturdy. Then I'm going to get Behemoth. Where can I get Behemoth to move to without her getting... Into a lot of trouble because that heat thing scares me. It's a bit of damage and so on. Um, I want her to shoot him whilst he's on the ground. But if we turn off that missile, that load of missiles, and a laser, and we choose the center torso, hopefully Roger we can that. take him out. Missed. I will kill you, mercenary. We're doing all right here, guys. Yeah. We're doing all right. That's all the that matters at this minute. Oh wow, did the little guy actually just go for my hunchback? Yeah, he did. Oh wow. What okay, so I'm going to click on you. Can you fire the missiles into... No, I'm going to leave you alone for a minute. I'm going to go back to Glitch. Well, I could choose Light Hand again just to punch the little guy. Again, I'm going to choose Vigilant, so he's got the... whilst he does it. And then just punch, and hopefully we can see him... Then I'm going to choose Glitch to move to there for the minute, I suppose. On my way. And then shoot at him. Got it. Oh. Not done the uh, desired effect. Going to get Decker. Unfortunately, he's only got so many missiles left. So I'm... Actually, I'm just going to do that for the minute. going to cause it to fall over and hopefully then I'm going to get oh she's she's moving
Right, so maybe I'm doing the right thing at this minute. I'm not 100% sure if I am. But she's getting damaged from just the heat. What's so that, I'm then going to move to... I'm going to move her to there for the minute. Roger that. Because she's not really sustained much damage. So I do that anyway and put... Let's do that. Oh, actually, I meant to take multi-shot here. So we do that as A. And then we're going to shoot at her with B. And that just puts a little bit more heat on her. Not as, Not really bad. Didn't destroy him. Shame. But we've managed to get her mech. Oh! Oh, this isn't good. I think that's why she's done it. She's got us into a position where we have to come at her now. Um, okay, so if I move like a hand, because he's got no heat. Actually, I'm just... No, I'm not going to... I'm going to get Decker to move to... Where can I shoot him a second ago? Let's do that. Position confirmed. It's a shame you can't get an ammo drop or something in this game. And... But then I suppose that would probably break the game, so... Engaging target. Destroy it! You will not defeat us! I will break you! Is gone. Okay, so, so far I'm trying to... I'm trying to work out if I'm going the right way with this. So I'm going to sprint with Glitch as fast as I can to about... No, no, let's come back for a second. Let's sprint Glitch to about there so she can open up next turn. I do like the hunchback actually. <laughs> okay, so light of hand. I'm gonna move to about there. I'm probably gonna fire everything I can at her. And it will get me some catapult bits, maybe. If I put everything into it and do a precision strike on the center torso. Hopefully, not destroy it, maybe not destroy it, but maybe do enough damage so. Oh wow! We blew something up! Enemy mech destroyed. No! It's not possible! I can still win this! Mission successful, Commander. Nicely done. Dr. Mandre does the Argo have any empty storage room that we could use as a makeshift brig? I'm sure that's something that could be arranged, Lady Argana. Then organise it and get a lock on la uh, Lady Entrius, a jackpot. She's coming with us. Wow. Oh, that, was, that wasn't too bad. I was a bit... Uh, again, I'm still not sure about the dragon, but yeah. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Well, we've, we've managed to get a nice payout, so we're going to be in the four millions in a second. So, yes, we're not doing too bad here, so let's just go over here. Unfortunately, Glitch is going to be out for a few days. The This needs to be repaired. I need to think, think this through because the heat was a problem in that mission. So, yeah, and now we're probably going to have a read-in bit to have a look at. Now, I have five spaces. Now, what do I want from amongst this lot? Well, that for a start. And let's work my way. Let's work my way down. See if there's any lovely new. Okay, I'll take that. Things here that I will. I don't know if we really use that though. That's the problem. Um, I would love heat sinks. To, the bonus heat sinks though. Um, let's work my way back up. And let's have a look at something I may be able to sell. So, a Wolverine, might not be too bad salvage, and another Centurion, might not be too bad to sell, so let's just confirm, and we've got some other bits as well, by the looks of it, and another Commander, we could, you know, if we get other bits we can sell that, so that's not a big problem for me. Okay, well, I didn't even check to see what the other bits I, I got were, so, okay, so what's going on? Oh, cutscene. Oh, 
Family reunion. In a bit, uh, Victoria, I've waited three years for this. Are you, are you enjoying yourself? I have assembled just for you. Gloat all you like, cousin. Your victory will be short-lived. Your pathetic little army has carried you this far. But if you think you can challenge the core systems, you're sadly mistaken. Our glorious army will grind your restoration to a bloody pulp. Save me the lecture and tell me what you are doing on Avavolt. Your father rules the district. Uh, your father rules the dynasty. You should be tower. Should be a tower somewhere, not on a dirty little moon guarding a smuggle ship. A smuggling ship. A smuggling ship. Is that what you thought the Algo was? Oh, that's what what he told you. Oh, you poor dear fool. I will tell you what you've just done, but. I don't want to spoil the sp surprise you'll find for your uh, find out for yourself soon enough. This is all this is all blasted, Lady uh, Lady Organa. She's trying to get into your head. We need to talk about Lord Karius. I can tell you what the Argon is now: a s smouldering hunk of scrap metal. Good job protecting her, by the way. I'm going to say that one for a minute. <laughs> Sooner or later, we'll face off again, Mech Warrior, and then, and when that day come, I, I will smear your cockpit. I was, okay, smear your cockpit too. Victoria, I loved you like a sister, and you betrayed me. Your father held a knife to my back, and you helped him push it in. I need, I need to understand why. If you, if you ever really listened to him, you'd already know. He tried to teach you, cousin to set you on a path to strengthen the province. But you spat on his effort and forced his hand, and mine along with it. Forced your hand? Mustafa is dead because of you. Our mentor, the man who taught you to pilot a mech, and you put him in a camp and left him to, to rot. Thousands of Angaras die. A uh, dead pile lay at your feet. The price of strength of our nation's future. For the glory of the reach, I'll pay I'll pay a hundred times over. You seem you you seem to be confusing warranting cruelty for strength. They there isn't they aren't the same thing. The destruction of your lance should have taught you that. Little Lord Mandrius. Still my cousin's favourite pet I see. I wondered if your pretty jaw of yours is so fragile as it looks. One of these days, we will find out. Big talk for a woman in a cell, too bad. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. You aren't in a great position to make threats. After what you did to Rajal, I should vent you into... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to say. I admit it's tempting, but I believe that our teacher would prefer to keep her caged. Do you hear me, Victoria? You can watch from the sidelines as I demolish your father's empire and reclaim the rightful throne. And then, when this war is over, you will you will be tried for crimes against the Argana people. Is this supposed to scare me, Kamara? It doesn't. Do you think father hasn't planned for this? Do you think that you're winning? My capture means nothing. Your jaw, the traps of our jaw are already closing around your necks. You're just too blind to see it. We may be blind, but that, that won't stop us from kicking your ass and down the... Okay, no, I'm not going to say that. For such a genius, your old man is losing an awful lot of ground. You're talking like a cartoon villain. I'll say that for a minute. I doubt that... You doubt him at your prevail. My father bends everyone to his will. The... Rago... Reach for nations and the state nations everyone you know what I've done for our people the sacrifices I've made you you understand nothing and you never will you've already lost this war cousin you'll die screaming and the restoration will die with you I've heard enough whatever cut off the comms what what do you want us to do with her uh, Lady Argana the Argyle isn't a prison she can't stay here. 
No, she can't. Lord Argos lost his daughter and Wendy, and and we w and we weren't there to help him. I cannot undo what's wrong, but I can give him justice. We will transfer Lady Argana into his custody, to be held until I say otherwise. Your call, Lady Argana. We'll set course to Smithington when you're re when you're ready. Caution, uh, caution's over, people. Let's get back to work. Okay, so oh, okay. Now we've gone into another orbit. Great, more reading. Uh, Lady Argana, my staff has taken Lady Entress into custody. We're be, uh, we're bringing. She's been escorted to a cell as we speak. A kind of fate, it's kind of fate than she deserves, perhaps. But I will amend to our terms of our agreement. While she remains in custody, a week she will not be harmed. You're an honourable man, Lord Cardas. One day, I hope to earn your support. You already have it. What you've done today feels like justice, Lady Argana. Of a kind I never thought I would live to see. I owe you a debt. Thanks as well, Commander Hand. You did a Yeldsman's job on the new gauge. She will never darken our skies again. L Lady uh, uh, Lady Argana claims that you're wrong, Lord Carnes, that the new gauge wasn't a smuggling ship. If I was you, I'd make sure you keep armed guards outside... Victoria Cell at all times. She's dangerous, even in captivity. I'm glad to be of service. Now, let's discuss... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm going to say that for a minute. Of course she does. She's a liar and a betrayer. You cannot trust her word. Devil... Plays devil out of cut. What is she... No, okay. Right, true enough. Let's just go for that for the meantime. Um, you cannot blame... I cannot blame you for taking her word for face value. Espinosa has been quite convincing when it suits them. I'm just going to continue this because I want to get to the next bit. Yes, of course, let us discuss your... Right. Our chief engineer tells me you have found a hidden data archive on your ship and that you need need my help to open it. Sounds like we're... Sounds like it could be quite the mystery. More than a mystery to me, Lord... My father believed that the Argyle holds something of great value, but he does not. But he died before he could see it. I need to know what's on that device, and you're the only one in the reach who can open it for me. Better perhaps I give you the means to open it. I ha I will have the device sent to your ship, an electric code breaker of advanced design. Given enough time, it will chew through the encryption, even yours. Federation Sun. With respect, I'm surprised that you have such a device. And in intelligence, like a Mark III perhaps, not... I felt the same way when Lord Tyrus bought it to me. All those years ago, he told me that the device was found in a province of the Comstar... Pr uh, I'm not sure who they are who had died in Argo space. That's what she, she was doing with it, I will never know. What I do know is that your father would want you to have this, Kamo. He'd be quite proud of your leader you've become. Thank you, Lord Carnoris. Simon, it means more to me than I can say. Speaking of proud fathers, do you have any news about your son? How's his condition improved since we last spoke? Somewhat, my lady. Otto's road to recovery will be long and difficult. The dictator did something to his mind on Wendy. I still don't have a clear picture of what, but the damage is both physical and mental. In truth, I fear my, that my boy has, has been damaged in irreparably, basically beyond repair, and that, the, and that the Otto I knew is gone. But I cling to the hope that someday my son will remember will remember will that I remember will return to me he will Simon I know it Otto is young and strong the house Carnus is nothing if not resi resilient I'm afraid that I must take my leave of you now I have a force to marshal and plans to make but please keep me a posted of Otto's condition I will Lady Carnus farewell to you 
you know you have the you have earned the support of House Carnarvon. What you've done today didn't. Uh, what you've done today doesn't erase the past, but perhaps we can still write the course of our people's future. For my part, I'm willing to try. Thank you, Lord Carnarvon, and welcome to the restoration. Together, we will fix what my uncle's broken. I swear. Lord Commander, I've put the code device. Uh, I've put the code device that we've got from Lord to work on my on our mystery device, and now I'm watching the progress climb really slowly. I'll give you an update when fi when it's finished. Oh, excuse me. Okay, at least the reading's finished, hey guys. All right, so before I do anything else, before I say goodbye, I want to come over here. I want to take a look at something. Behemoth, up, I'm gonna increase your piloting. Now reset, because you do cool shots. I, I want you to have your bonuses for your cool shots. Um, Decker, no, I, I want you to get, that's the one I want Decker to have. That's actually the one I want Decker to go for, so. That's we means you can shoot. That's the one I want Glitch to go for when she can. Uh, so I want you to do the called. Okay, so light hand still slightly off. Behemoth. Yeah, no, she went. Yeah, so right. So again, we've gone through another mission without losing a mech warrior. I'm quite surprised on that. Let's go to the mech bay quick as well. Nice to see you down here in the I hate the reading bit, guys. I'm really sorry. I, it's I'm dyslex dyslexic, and it does cause me some problems. It actually, makes me a little nervous sometimes to read it because I'm not sure how well you guys are going to react. Can we speak to what's her face? Is she? Oh, let's have a look at the map for a minute again so let's have a look at this so at this minute we've got this land here uh, let's quickly go this way down this way so I'm not sure if we're gonna be going there next or there what's there all right so let's have a quick look at the contract board for a minute oh wow Oh wow, 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 there's a lot of stars here. I'm not sure I want to be seeing this many stars. But they're the only ones available to me. That ain't good. Ah, okay guys. So in the next video, I'm probably going to have to start going this way. So let's have a look at the store quickly for a second here. Just in case there's something I can give myself. Now, if I would like one of these because I promise you Decker would go into it and be firing a lot of missiles down at the enemies. Um... And would have that special one as well, and he would have a lot more armor, I believe. Damn it! But that. Do we have anyone that uses an A5? I don't think we do it this second. Let's have a quick look along, see if there's anything else. I don't see anything else. So, guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to uh, tell me in the comments what you think, what you know, how well things are going, or how bad things are going, just let me know in the comments down below, guys. Um, so yes, oh, I'm a little tired at this minute guys, but yes, I've had a good, nice little weekend. Unfortunately, well, I say nice weekend, I'm a little shattered if I'm being honest as well. Um, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted, so it, my, as you can tell by my, some of my reading, I don't think would have done me any favours with my miniature unboxings, even though that's the stuff I would actually really wanted to do as well this weekend, because I do need to catch up with that. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please click like. If you... Um, if you want to uh, subscribe, help me on the road to 1,000, guys. I'm too far away from there. Um, also, guys, uh, hit that notifications if you want to uh, watch the videos. Also, I'm going to let you know, I do do miniature unboxings as well. So, yeah, tell me what you would have done different. Tell me what you think of the series. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this, and I'm going to finish it. At least try to, anyway. All right, guys, I hope you're having a good day, and goodbye.